Hi YouTube, and yes, it is tutorial time once again. And as you can see from the title, it is paint drip tutorial. Got this requested a couple of times, not too hard to do, pretty simple, so I thought I'd show you how you do it. Just using this as an example, I may do another example after this, but you saw this from my speed up, my latest speed up called Monster Fiesta. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. And basically to do the paint drips, you want to get the same color of the paint which you want to use. So in this case I'm just going to use orange. I'll do one of the black paint drips in a minute. And then you're going to get a hard round brush which will be the second one along. And make sure the size is kind of matching the paint drip that you want it to be. Like these black ones would be a little bigger than I'm going to have it now. But for this one I'm just going to have it two, size 2. And then I'm going to make a new layer. And as you can see, if in real life if this was real paint, it will be dripping off the car. So all I'm going to do is just bring these bring these drips down, just in reasonably straight lines, but not completely straight, just to make them a bit more realistic. And then even at the ends, you can add a little kind of bubble, because paint kind of drips that way. And if you want, as you saw my spear, you can carry it on. And if it kind of lands on the floor, you just make like a little puddle type thing. And that usually looks pretty cool. So once you've done that, you can either leave it like that or you can add a bit of a shine. That was, that's what I usually do. Makes it look a bit more realistic. So you just want to grab your hard round brush again. Make it smaller. So in this case I'm going to put it at 1. Change the colour to white. And then basically to give the whole thing a shine, you could either go to layer, layer style, bevel and emboss. But I think it's much better if you do it manually. So if I, I just zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to add a shine to kind of the left side of the paint, definitely to the drips at the end. And then in other areas, especially down this long bit, and then round this puddle, just to give it that bit of shine. And then you can set this to maybe soft light or overlay, or you can set it to normal and then lower the opacity. As you can see. So that's a pretty easy paint trip. As you can see, if you're watching this at 1080p, hopefully you can see it a bit better. I'm just zoom in one there. As you can see, pretty interesting paint trip. Let me just do one of the black ones to give you that, that as an example. Um, so let's go do these two here. So we're going to grab our hard round brush, make it a bit bigger this time, maybe about five or six, just so it kind of matches the current shape that's already there and then I'm going to make a new layer and just draw down that one's a bit too big it's better to kind of make it a bit smaller so that because obviously you can if it's not big enough you can go kind of back on it back on yourself to make it thicker but if it's too thick then obviously you can't do that so I'm going to make this three and then just go down here same as before making these drips can even kind of split them up have like two drips coming down and then because this is black it's not the best example because you can't really see it on the floor but maybe if I give it a bit of a shine it will make it a bit easier to see then we're going to make a new layer same as before grab our white colour make it a bit smaller maybe two this time and then actually just one and then go down the side of the paint adding the shine don't forget the puddle at the bottom as well. And then we're just going to lower the opacity. The last one I lowered to about 60%, so I'll probably do about the same for this one. Maybe a bit lower, 50. And then as you can see, that's a paint drip. Um, just notice the size 1 with the white doesn't look that great because it looks a bit too sharp. So we can go in with maybe a size 2 and then do the shiny bits that way. lower the opacity and that looks pretty good you can always blur the shiny bits so they still look a bit too sharp so if you go filter blur Gaussian blur and we set it to 0 0.3 or 4 that gives it a bit more of a blur and then you can play out with the opacity after that so that's a reasonably it probably works better with smaller drips. As you can see these orange ones look a bit better than these black ones. So maybe just stick to smaller, thinner drips 
and maybe these black ones I should have done a bit thinner kind of a bit more like the orange one that probably would have looked a bit better so now I'm going to show you another example on another picture so just as another quick easy example using this very overrated and over over and under over, over used image um, I'm going to add some drips to the feet obviously it doesn't have to apply to vehicles or cars it can be applied to people if you want a bit more of an abstract kind of style to your image so I'm going to add some to this shoe dripping down onto the floor so you can you I suppose you could do it with smudging but I think using the paintbrush is easier so using the color picker tool which is the sixth fifth one sixth one down and um, you're just going to pick the color which you want to make the drip out of so first I'm going to do a bit of the gray maybe a bit of white ish color coming down from the shoe going to get my hard round brush because this is quite a large image I'm going to have to make the size a bit bigger than usual and then make it about 10 make sure my white or grey is selected make a new layer and then paint in a few of these drips coming down like so dog barking downstairs but I'm going to carry on maybe make it a bit smaller just to make a bit more variation in the drips a bit better and then doing this puddle at the bottom as well and as you can see there's also some black on there so I'm going to colour put the black or dark grey, make a new layer just in case and I'm going to paint some of that on there as well like so bit of black as well maybe just have a few of these coming down get the dark grey back again just changing the size of the drips just to get a bit more variation maybe have a few drips kind of splitting in two always looks pretty cool and as you can see, maybe just a few from the um, laces as well. Kind of keep them reasonably straight, but you can always add a bit of a squiggle in there as well. There we go. Now all there is left to do is add the shine. So we're going to get a white. Alternatively, with the shine, you can let's say, well let's do the drips first, so let's make it about two and then just go along these edges you don't have to go along the whole edge, you can add leave kind of gaps in areas like so and as you can probably tell I'm just doing this very quickly just to give you an idea of what it will look like so you can add some kind of to the image to make it look like it's kind of turning into paint otherwise the paint chips will kind of stand out a bit too much and then let's just lower that first actually about 40 percent and then with the shine on the the puddle you can do it with the paintbrush or you can use the I like because I've got a graphics tablet it's quite easy for me and um, you can use the lasso tool or the pen tool or any other selection tool you want and then just kind of make a selection around areas of the puddle and then I'm just going to fill that with white afterwards so just make that selection, make sure on the new layer fill that with white and maybe just do another one this kind of helps because it makes it a bit more kind of squiggly and just makes it look more like a puddle with shiny sections just add a bit to this black over here and then as always just lower the opacity a bit and oh, bear with me there we go and as always as I said before it's quite a big image so you can, hard to see if I just zoom down to the shoe you can see there's some pretty nice drips coming off the shoe 
not the best blending with this part of the shoe but you can always just go back and edit that yourself um, let me just do that quickly so I can just grab the eraser and any areas I don't like the look of I can just use the eraser on them just to even it up a bit so I'm just going to go in there and erase some of these hard edges where it goes onto the black and also some of the white bits as well just make it blend a bit better and there you go real easy paint trip one example here with kind of a real, more realistic image obviously with a person and then there's one example with a car or if you see any other paint chips like here and you want to kind of carry them on this will be perfect as you can see here the paint chips weren't actually real obviously in the beginning they're just some design on the car and you can make them real really easily just by carrying them on making them look as realistic as possible so that was a simple and easy tutorial on paint chips be sure to keep watching my tutorials and subscribe to my channel if you're not already as i have more to come in the next few days thank you for watching